Good morning. It's a beautiful day. I say that to myself every morning, even when it's not true. Oh, today we have some stuff to talk about. Not really. There's not a whole lot. First, beer, please. <laughs> Uh, maybe just some cereal first. <laughs> uh, uh, don't look at those. Those have nothing to do with the way I feel. Cereal. How to hold a camera and pour cereal in a bowl. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't like lactic secretions from a cow unless they're fermented or in a stout. So I drink nut milk. Now to the beer. Yours truly, Ninkasi Brewing out of Eugene, Oregon. This has 12 fluid ounces. It is an ale. It's an easy drinking ale at 4.3%. Um, it's yours truly. I think they're trying to do their Valentine's Day stuff early. It does say to consume it by the 18th of February of this year. So, yeah, just have it on Valentine's Day, but I'm going to have it now good morning uh, it goes in a glass <laughs> no i just realized this glass has some lipstick marks on it it may be dirty whatever cheers okay yeah starting to feel human again uh Here's an interesting one. Anheuser Busch is investing in drones to restock beer shelves. This company, Penza, looks like it's French or something. They have these little drones that have cute little cages around their evil propellers. They just whiz around a um, you know, grocery store, places where you buy cereal and beer. And uh, they realize, they recognize when things aren't stocked and they alert you and then you can send out your human plebeians to, um, to do that. So it's one of those things that Anheuser-Busch is investing in. Whatever they're investing in, we should watch. Beer goggles. Now it's not only just a thing you say when you're drinking and hitting on people. God, what a horrible thing. Um... Beergoggles.csb.utoronto.ca will take you to a yeast segmentation web tool. Huh? Is that exciting for you? I don't know what that means, but... It seems like it's relevant to the brewing world, and it could be helpful, so... Mm. If you want to explain to me what it does... Um... That'd be cool. Thank you. <laughs> mm. My next story comes out of the time period 1982. Excuse me. My mother, Shirley Spurdy. Mm -hmm. Mighty tasty, Slim. Slim, where's the trip, Colorado? We come a thousand miles for this hair Stroh's bear. Not surprising. Happens every day. Yeah? Excuse me. I say, okay, a cold bottle of Stroh's, please. Oh, I just like this video and wanted to share it with you because you know what? Beer geeks have always been whale hunting. Um, I gotta do something with my head today. <laughs> it's fine. Just ignore that. Uh, yeah, and um, my last story today, because uh, I need to go do things after this beer, is there... It, is Dogfish Head just jumping on a hype, trying to say that they're creating things? Um, or are they making a, 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 a new awesome style? Low-cal beer, jumping on that trend? Hmm? Are they? Either way, guys over at Genus Brewing, they break it down in this beautiful little video. Here's a clip. Now, the thing that Dogfish Head did do that is relatively new, excuse the awesome song playing in the background, <laughs> Um, the, the first to do is they added a, a, a natural sweetener that has a little bit of a mature characteristic to it, which is a, a monk fruit extract. Monk fruit extract. Awesome. Uh, if you want to see that full video, which I highly recommend, it, it's it's really good. Um, they're linked. It's linked. 
all the stuff is linked. I link things for you because I care. Okay? That's all from me. I hope I know that you will have a beautiful day. <clears throat> this has been Morning Beer. Your morning installment of beer. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry, forgot to talk about the beer. Uh, it's easy drinking <laughs> and delightful. It's exactly what it said it should be. Um, a little bit of citrus in there, of course. Um, not too much of a malt backbone, clearly, because it's nice and light. Uh, the effervescence is right on point. It's just perfect. Bravo, Ninkasi, yet again. Yours truly. Actually reminds me of that Neil Stevenson book, um, Snowfall or something. So, I don't know. Anyway, it's the book that he coined um, uh, the term cyberpunk in. And the main, one of the main characters in that is a girl named Yours Truly. She goes by YT. One of my favorite bits about that book is that there's a whole epic samurai sword fight scene set in a hot field. It's a little information for the day. So, uh, yeah.